This week I'd like to talk a little bit about famous Marian sites. As Catholics, we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. We see her as the first disciple of the Lord Jesus, the first believer, the mother, obviously, of Jesus, or the one who brings God into the world in human form. And the Catholic Church has always had a tender devotion to her because we see her as the God-bearer, as the one who teaches us faith and brings Jesus to us. Mary has appeared uh, throughout the ages often to um, poor children, often to the lowly, to reveal God's messages of, of love and mercy and the call of gospel conversion. So no sequence of importance. Uh, today I was thinking of Our Lady of Knock. So on the wet, wet evening of August 21st, 1879, suddenly on the gable of this little church in Knock, Ireland, appeared images of the Blessed Virgin, of St. Joseph, of St. John the Baptist, and the Lamb of God. Jesus is referred to as the Lamb in the book of Revelation and by John the Baptist. Um, these apparitions did not speak. They were simply images on the wall of the church. The whole village gathered in wonder and Knock became a, a place of pilgrimage and grace ever since. I've been blessed to say Mass there twice. And Our Lady of Knock really speaks simply to the reality of the divine in our midst. It's the only apparition where nothing is said. It's simply a, a silent image. And yet when you think about it, so often God is wrapped in silence. You know, the Eucharist does not speak to us. Uh, we pray in silence. Oftentimes we would wish God to speak more, but oftentimes God is silent. And maybe the silence is God's answer to our prayer, that he wants to draw us into the silence and peace. So Our Lady of Knock is a beautiful place on the west coast of Ireland that has become a pilgrimage site for uh, millions of Catholics uh, throughout the world and certainly is a spiritual center of Ireland. So what we see in Knock, um, the Blessed Virgin Mary's tender love for the Irish people who really until recently, um, Ireland was a very strong, devout Catholic country. We, we pray for Ireland that uh, as they go through um, their purification of the faith that they uh, may come back to the church and continue to believe in the gospel, although there's still millions of, of faithful Irish Catholics as there are here. So Our Lady of Knock, pray for us.